If you are not quite sure what comp to play in the new set of Teamfight Tactics, or if you're looking for a comp to force every game, I have some good news for you. What's up, I'm Bunny Muffins. If you enjoy tier lists, composition guides, and TFT commentary, you're really missing out if you're not subscribed, so go ahead and hit the button below the video if you are new to the channel. Ash Brawlers has been consistently getting good results for myself and many top players. In fact, the first person to reach Masters in Europe exclusively played Ash Brawlers, and many top 10 players and former Challenger players in North America, Korea, and other regions have been playing this every game too. First, we are going to cover why go Ash Brawlers, second, the itemization, and then we'll cover how to play the early, mid, and late game. So first let's get into why we should play Ash Brawlers. The first reason is that there are only three crucial units, which are Ash, Warwick, and Set, and they all have viable transitions and item holders before you hit them, meaning that you can play this composition almost every game and not get punished if you don't hit those specific champions in a timely manner. Second, this composition can use a variety of items for the carry and the tanks. And third, this composition has many options for chosen units and traits and can play them all effectively. And you could even throw in random legendaries by dropping certain traits in the super late game. Now moving on to the items. For Ash, the only must have item for Ash is Quicksilver Sash. This is because crowd control is so prevalent in set four and champions such as Aatrox, which pulls your units into the center of the field, or a pike who can stun your ash around the corners pretty much makes those matchups unwinnable. But if you build a Quicksilver Sash, it prevents literally all of this. For damage items, the best item right now is a Giant Slayer, and this is because there are many units which fall over the Giant Slayer damage buff threshold, which is 1750 health. At that point, your champion deals 90% bonus damage from Giant Slayer. Because there are other Brawler players and tons of other 3-star units in the metagame right now, Giant Slayer is pretty much a no-brainer. Keep in mind, the best damage item for her will change depending on the patch, and again, it just depends on what the meta is. Right now, it's currently Giant Slayer. Other items that work really well on her are Rage Blade, Hand of Justice, Death Blade, and Bloodthirster. Items that are playable, but something that you wouldn't really prefer are Static Shiv, Sword of the Divine, and Infinity Edge. For your tanks, you really want a Sunfire Cape early game. This is by far the best early game item for Brawlers, and you pretty much auto win stage 2 and stage 3 if you get it. Tom Kench is the early game item holder for your tank units, and then his items get transferred to either Nunu, Warwick, or Set, depending on who you have 2-star, depending on your other items, and what the state of the game is. Nunu likes more tank items such as Warmogs and Dragonclaw and Gargoyle Stoneplate. Warwick likes any combination of tank, attack damage, or attack speed items, and Set loves ability power, but he could also use the tank items that you have from Tom Kench. In the early game, go for Brawler starts, but if you don't get that, you could use any generic frontline class or play Cultus until you get your tank units. I typically play for full economy in the start of the game and even open fort, which is pretty much just a fancy way of saying I sell off all my non-brawler, non-hunter units so that I can make interest thresholds. Again, Tom Kench is the item holder for all your tank items, and then I like using Aphelios as my Ash item holder, but you could use pretty much any damage champion. You don't have to use Aphelios, you could use champions such as Nidalee, Vayne, Zed, or any ranged unit. One fun combination to try in the early game is getting a chosen Moonlight, and playing that with an Aphelios so that you get an upgraded Aphelios from just two units. It's a really strong combination to hold your Ash items before you hit Ash. In the mid game, I typically do not roll at level six, but if I am extremely low health, I will roll on stage three, two at level six. Typically, I just roll around 10 to 20 gold in this scenario because you really need to save up to hit level eight and nine in order to get the legendary units that are so strong in this composition. I go to level 7 at either 3, 5, or 4, 1, and then I roll down on 4, 1 until I stabilize with either a strong chosen champion or Ash with 4 to 6 brawlers and 3 elderwood. After that, save up your gold since you'll need to hit levels 8 and 9, and I typically get to level 8 at stage 5, 1 with around 40 to 50 gold, roll down to 10 to 0 that turn, and then I decide if I need to roll further in future rounds or if I'm healthy enough to get to level 9. Every game is different, so if you're already strong at 4-1, for example, you don't always have to roll at level 7. Sometimes you could save your gold and roll at level 8 with all your gold at stage 4-5 and give you a nice power boost because you rolled at level 8 at stage 4-5 instead of 5-1. Here are some possible late game builds. Here's the base build with 4 Brawlers and 3 Elderwood. You can add whatever combination suits your taste depending on the state of the game. And this could be either more Brawlers, more Elderwoods, more Hunters, or more Legendaries. The typical build has 6 Brawlers and 3 Elderwood with either Hunters or Legendaries. 
The legendaries that can be randomly thrown into this composition are two star Kane, Yon, and Ezreal. Sometimes even like an Azir is good too. Here's an example of a nine Elderwood composition. This comp is good if you have a chosen Elderwood and an Elderwood spatula, as this is super strong because you can make your set or Warwick pretty much unkillable and do a lot of damage with the Elderwood spatula on them. Lastly, here's a build with eight brawlers, which I think is very strong in the mid to late game, but kind of falls off as the game goes on. There are many other versions of this composition. You could throw in a ton of random legendaries instead of doing all this other stuff I've been talking about. So go ahead and do some experimentation on your own, and let me know if you find a build that works super well for you in the comments below. If this video helped you get better at TFT, go ahead and hit the like button right below the video. And if you want to see even more TFT content, Go ahead and head on over to my Twitter and Instagram at BunnyMuffinsLOL. Apart from that, that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And of course, smash that like button. Each like is an LP I gained before the next video.